Bob and the Goblin. Yes? What's the one thing every TTRPG player needs? Dice! More, more, more pretty shiny, clickety clackety, let's go attack any dice! <laughs> You'll be the envy of all your Dice Goblin friends with a new set from Dice Envy. They have sets in polymer, yes. wood, yes. and metal. Yes. Plus accessories, yes. mystery sets, yes. subscription boxes, and more. Yes. Whether it's your first set, a new set to match a new character, or just because you need more, 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 more. <laughs> Excuse me. Dice Envy has you covered. Click the Friends Who Roll Dice affiliate link when it pops up in chat to help support our channel. Why not give your friends dice envy? Lobster just yeah. <laughs> into the street. <laughs> okay, they can hear us now. Amazing. It's fun to stay at the <laughs> DMCA. It's fun to stay in. Anyway. <laughs> Too. Yay! All right. <laughs> Yay. Wonderful. There we go. All right. Cool. 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 We are here. We are existing. T tech. Tech. We'll just we'll just blame the tech. It's fine. Uh, yeah. Hello, folks. Good time zone. Uh, welcome to another episode of Mind of the Martyr. Uh, we are here. We are episode sixty-one. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be fun. Didn't mean to make that rhyme. Fuck. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I'm I'm Wiggly. I'm sorry. I'm Wiggly. It's one of those. Oh, no. uh, it's gonna be one of those sessions. Wiggly DM. Um, oh, no. <laughs> we in trouble now. Maybe. <laughs> oh, Little. terrible! Awesome. Get out. Uh, puns. Excellent. More to add to my collection. Um, yeah, okay. So uh, we just had the uh, Dice Envy sponsor, which you can see in the chat now. Uh, they are wonderful. Thank you, Adam, for the voiceover and all of the work you did there. Um, we do also have a couple of other sponsors that keep us on the uh, air and keep us going. Um, one of those, the wonderful folks at Grinding Coffee, a Black LGBT plus owned coffee company who have released a whole bunch of new flavors. And I'm super, super excited to see uh, what's going on there. Um, coffee. Coffee is good. Coffee is the life, especially if you're working on American time zones as a British person like me. So go ahead and check them out at Grinding Coffee Co. Um, you can grab 
pretty much uh, whatever suits your fancy, really. Dark blends, light blends. Uh, you can grab sample packs as well for a mixture of different flavors, and they have some fantastic ones. So go ahead and check them out. Throw in FWRD for some money off your order as well. And that will go towards helping us. And you'll be supporting a cool business. <clears throat> Try and uh, bear in mind that obviously it's the holiday season. So there might be a slight delay to getting your wonderful coffee. But it will be with you in no time. I promise. Cool. Uh, one of the other folks that keep us going as well is Roll20. We are a spotlight partnered stream. Roll20 is a fantastic online tool set that allows you to bring all of your wonderful games that you're playing with your friends onto the digital platform. Uh, they have a fantastic, uh, just a, a mixture of things, to be honest, whether that be full TTRPGs that you can go ahead and purchase to uh, using their tool set itself to make your own uh, games shine. <clears throat> Tokens, effects, scenery, maps, you name it, it's all there. You can make a account for free and there are premium packs to get uh, some awesome stuff as well. So you should definitely go ahead and check them out. They also support a whole bunch of amazing TTRPG creators in the space. So you should check out uh, some other Roll20 partners as well. Roll20, this is how we roll. Let's rock and roll, shall we? Who can tell us what happened? Uh, rock and roll. God damn it. Sorry. <laughs> Who can tell us what happened? <laughs> I wasn't even deliberate. Someone recap for me. What happened last session? Oh. Oh, I thought I thought you were raising your hand. Sorry, no. I Jesse, and I'm like, you were this this here? <laughs> I I don't know if it's gonna show on camera, but there is a cat currently like yes. Ah, okay. Well, Cat yes. is climbing up onto the desk. Buddy. There's the slightest tail just kind of sticking out. Yes. Um, no. So, last episode, we were tasked with helping collect items for the ceremony that Nawi will be participating in. And so we wandered around found uh, an area with a bunch of pillars and plateaus made of stone uh, and a lot of rope bridges. I um, attempted to circumvent the rope bridges, but um, it was seemed like a never ending chasm. So we ended up using the rope bridges regardless. And after each rope bridge, we were spoken to by a very beautiful ethereal woman who is very tall well she's about as tall as i am um as jack Rand is and um we ended up getting the seed seeds seeds plural i don't know how many we needed but we got the things that we needed and left that area and ended up walking once more as you do in the Verdant Vale and were transported to another location where there was a large silhouette overhead and that is where we wrapped up. Indeed that is exactly how it went. Sorry, fine question. Was it a humanoid silhouette or just? No. Okay. All right. No. Okay. Most certainly was not a human okay. <clears throat> Before that, uh, before we join our heroes here, we're going to step back in time just a touch as the one. It's me. You, as, as soon as, as, soon as uh, your friends exited the room and the door closed, there was immediately the click and flick of your grandma's hand as another pot of tea found itself boiling on the side, ready to go. You see a small uh, collection of what seemed to be some, at first, uh, familiar uh, treats and sweet pastries and things, but upon closer inspection, it looks like the recipe's changed a little since you last had it all those years ago. A couple of little... Uh, 
updates and refreshments, especially with the new ingredients that she has in the veil here. <clears throat> Spreads out a little, uh, a little platter for you and pulls up a, uh, sorry, pulls up a chair, sits down, gets comfortable. She pulls a little, uh, a little blanket over her legs and has this little uh, teacup in her hand. And as she does so, you hear the slight of a little bit of pressure on the wood, the slight creaking of wood as from behind the chair, landing kind of on her shoulder, kind of uh, like two uh, paws on her shoulder and then her back two paws on the chair that she's shitting, uh, shitting on, sitting on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a Freud and slip. <laughs> what's the Freudian slip of this My cup? grandma. Excellent. We're, we're very What big shits this. you have. <laughs> there are no I boundaries so... here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I said I was wiggly. Apparently I can't speak either today. <laughs> yeah. Great start. We're off to a great start. Excellent. Uh, back on. two paws on the chair, front two paws on the shoulder is this uh, relatively small uh, tabby cat. Seems to just perch towards her shoulder. She'll smile at you. And uh, I thought I thought the tabby cat smiled at me. <laughs> <laughs> no, tabby cat is a he, but yes. Um, yeah, and they'll uh, smile at you and just... I don't really know whether you have any questions or concerns, but it's just very, very good to see you again, my dear. What the fuck was I doing last session? Um, that one. Sorry, I'm trying. I'm flashing back to two weeks ago. Um, <laughs> it's it's i might have had questions i'm a little overwhelmed i wasn't expecting to see you here when i heard of a great old healer i was not expecting my own grandmother no one expects grandma she smiles <laughs> kind of giggles to herself a little bit settles back in grandma how puts cute a hand you are today <laughs> strokes across the uh the the head of this tabby yeah this one is new and and dawn holds out like you know that little cat like you can come for me if you want if you want to sniff my fingers <clears throat> he'll look towards her and she'll just smile and nod and he'll jump down and immediately come towards you doesn't sniff doesn't hesitate, just jumps straight in your lap. <laughs> and immediately just kind of curls up, sits there. Um, seems like a runt of the litter, very small, even though you can tell they're fully grown. What's you can this? see also uh, <clears throat> what remains of like a small patch of fur that's missing across the like back right side just a small line of uh, fur that's beginning to grow back but you can see a small uh very very small patched up scar um i think so that one's like scratching between the ears and top of the head uh but when she notices this the scar she's not going to say anything she's just going to look at it are you speaking for the cat? Uh, she's going to look at Nene and just, like, what is this? Someone found him uh, quite a while ago now, actually. Just in the forest, having gotten themselves a uh, little stuck against a tree. Nothing uh, a little tender loving care didn't solve along with 
a needle and thread, but he's doing much better. He was stuck against a tree? Seems like he attempted to climb it to a degree. You'll, uh, if you take a look at uh, <clears throat> a few of the front claws, they've been damaged. Uh, seems like one of the pieces of bark snapped and jammed itself in there when he fell. Well, I'm He's glad doing all right now, though. Sorry, I'm glad you're okay, little one. And she's speaking to the cat itself. And he is purring away. <laughs> Have you named him? He hasn't given me one yet. I thought I'd give him a little bit of time. Let him get a little bit more comfortable. It was only uh, a couple of weeks, but he's incredibly trusting, and I think that's a good quality to have. He seems like he's settled in quite well. It's the first time I've seen him in a couple of days, if I'm honest. He's been wandering around saying hello to everyone. He's very sociable. Uh, sociable, mischievous. Troublemaker. Sounds a little. I can relate. I understand. Mm. Reminds me of a certain someone. I don't know who you could be referring to. Definitely not me. She chuckles to herself again for giving the giving the tabby a, 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 a little look and just a little nod. Looks back up to you. It looks like you've been busy making friends. Making lots of friends. Uh, going on quite a few adventures. Still have a few adventures to go on. Oh, I suppose that's why I was looking for you, actually. I We seem to have encountered a bit of an interesting predicament. Um, involving a few chimera much together creatures not of this plane. Not something you find in libraries back home, I'm afraid. She nods before <clears throat> leaning in and her face kind of sinks into a, a little bit more of a, a, a serious look. She, yes, I've been um, rather privy to certain information recently involving some of the few individuals who have entered and left the veil as of recently. Strange sights all across uh, certain sections of your world and others of these odd amalgamations. Some of them seem deliberate and some of them seem random. I don't really know what to make of any of it, but um, I've gathered what notes I could from people far more versed in that than I. Thankfully, with the blessing of the veil, I've managed to locate some of these individuals as well and discuss with them and see exactly what what I can learn. And if by any chance any of those creatures ends up in the veil somehow, well, I will know how to treat them. Or to the best of my ability, anyway. I hope to do the same on our end. I can't help but feel like amalgamations such as those can't be the most comfortable for them and I would like to find a way if it's possible to separate or put them at ease but a lot of the ones yeah. that we have found are quite aggressive they're incredibly unnatural kind of feels like they're being manufactured, I suppose. 
not the first time that stuff like this has happened to, to, to individuals, but never to this scale. I say that, I've, I've only seen a, a few examples at this point, but who knows? I'm just trying my best. Same. It's, it's good to know that I'm not the only one trying to figure this out. <laughs> trying as I can. Thankfully, the... <clears throat> Vale lacks nothing in the way of resources or time. How did you find yourself here? I guess, such as, same as anyone, it, you walked and ended up here? That about sums it up, I'm afraid. No extravagant story or heroic tale or wonderful bedtime story. No, it's it's just... I heard a song and I followed it. That's about all there is to it. This place is strange, but I do like it. It's very peaceful. This place is very strange. Very strange. Very strange indeed. But I like it here. I've been able to help many a wonderful person while being here. There's no structure here. There's no specific attachments. It's just whatever you deem as right and wrong. And that can mean a lot to a lot of people. That does seem nice. So you've settled. Well, now will you put it like that? Ruined it. <laughs> she chuckles herself and kind of uh, <laughs> lifts up the cup and just uh, rolls her eyes a little. Takes a sip. I suppose for now. <clears throat> I suppose. <laughs> At least it'll be easier to find you. I'll just pick a direction well, and walk. If you are meant to be here, then you'll arrive. Your, your parents, how are they doing? They're doing good. Uh, they <laughs> moved on from the town that I was in. Not that I'm in that town anymore. I, I guess I'm in a fort. Uh, it's a long story. Um, but they're doing well. Uh, they're still helping others. Clearly, Mother thought that your kit worked better with my needs. Understandable. I'm glad they're doing OK. Also glad to see that they still have the wanderlust <laughs> that they had beforehand. Yes, they do. Um, and I guess I do as well, but I do like stationary libraries of knowledge and staying near them. <laughs> Some things don't change. She beams as a small set of uh, wind chimes on the other side of the room blows and rings and catches her attention. She, oh, so soon. Oh, fine. Puts her cup down. Just, <clears throat> I'm sorry to cut this short uh, right at this moment, but, um, I think your friends are going to need you. Oh no. Uh, I'm sorry that you shouldn't be my the typical response, but um, I can't help but I should go. Will I be able to return? 
I just you still have my instincts. Come with me. Okay. She'll stand and um, very Ellen kind is of going to pocket the snacks before she leaves. <laughs> Thank you. Very important. I say mm-hmm. that. She neatly kind of uh, sorts everything out on uh, a very small uh, table and orders everything up, nods once, opens up the door and steps uh, just to the right and kind of just 10 steps away before she finds uh, one of the trees of the veil. And as you kind of follow behind her, she'll go up to it and put her ear against the tree. Just, just mm-hmm, mm-hmm, knock, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> what if this one will do? Uh, she licks her finger. And there's a small uh, spark of like green on the end of her finger. And she just, uh, and then, reaches right down and draws a big arch into the tree itself. And that should do it. Taps on the center of the tree. And as it does so, the, out, the outline arch glows. It begins to get brighter and brighter as the tree cracks and caves in, revealing this green vortex of energy for just a moment before it breaks away. You see a large open field in front of you, along with a collection of trees and rocks, all surrounded by multicolored fireflies. Off you go, then. And, um, we'll catch up again later. I have so much to tell you. Oh, okay. This place is so strange. Um, Don gives Nene a super tight hug again. Uh, as she as she holds you close, she just kind of whispers in your ear, it's the veil. Just, just accept it. I know, I know. <laughs> just, well, just like squeeze you tight. Shaking her head like, I don't. I'm a nature cleric. This nature is magical. <laughs> nature is mysterious. What the fuck? But like not saying a word. It's just all, that's all conveyed in like a, I don't know what I'm doing. As she steps through this swirling green vortex. Oh yeah, Mara told your grandmother that you need to give people more hugs. <laughs> what was my grandmother's response to that? I, I would like to know. What did she say? She, she just looked at you. She didn't really say comment on it. She she just she gave you a look of just is that right? <laughs> like because she's like I get hugs. <laughs> I always get hugs. So. It's like nope, nope. She's been keeping herself closed off, and she needs to open up more. Is basically the conversation they had. No, we would beg to differ. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, Mara doesn't know about Maui <laughs> and the hugs. <laughs> True. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so uh, as you step through this now created portal in the tree, uh, we'll flick back to uh, our other three heroes here. As this silhouette has appeared underneath you, you look up and see... Not a lot, unfortunately. This silhouette seems to be cast by kind of just this distant blobby figure. Seems to be quite large. And as you clock uh, it flying over your head, you get that urge again to blink as you kind of are forced to in unison opening your eyes, the savannah-esque land around you fades away again. 
you find yourself in this large clearing surrounded by woodland that almost seems to be caging you in just dense vines and thickets and trees and bushes around you. The closest layer around is covered with these trees and stones. As you find yourselves there, the trees and stones let loose this beautiful luminescence of yellows and whites and blues that seem to float. You realize that these are fireflies. They seem to be just scattered throughout the area around you, creating almost this ring of light. You realize that shadow has loomed once again. As you look above you, dropping down from the skies and eventually uh, landing quite far in front of you, this huge avian creature with wings of brown and bronze scattered across it. What seems to be almost a, a necklace of these glowing blue branches. And as the face kind of comes into this hawkish uh, front here, the color changes down to a slight blue towards the tip. Looks towards you all, very composed and regal in its looks as its wings spread outwards. It pulls up and its feathers almost seem to vibrate for just a moment as it lets out this loud, reverberating cry. Some of the fireflies dart over to this creature. You watch them begin to glow more and more and more until all you see is just this orb of yellow light. <clears throat> shakes a little in the air before you, before the orb springs a wing and another wing. These small, radiant, bird-like creatures seem to surround this, this beast. Takes another glance towards you all. Its mouth opens again, but not a call this time. Instead, you're met with words. It is interesting to find one such as you here. But my job remains. glances across you again. Pulls and your job back. is... Yeah, um, what's your <laughs> job? <laughs> to test those that require to be tested. To prove that you are worthy of the blessings lined up for you. So you're a gatekeeper. In a manner. Are you like, um, what makes you the person to judge if other people are worthy? It pauses for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Rather confused. <laughs> <laughs> you, Are you, you qualified to need some ID, please. Yeah. Are you qualified to make this distinction? Um, hey, can I see your diploma? <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna need some certs here. 
<laughs> she pulls out like a little passport out of his like <laughs> bird box or something. I don't know. Bird box. Bird box. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> He pulls Sandra uh, Bullock out. She goes, I can vouch for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Blindfold no. Um <laughs> You immediately get the impression with your uh, your passive insights, uh, all of you. Not really a question he's ever, like, they, they, they've ever been asked before. Not really. Um, <laughs> I pause for a moment and ponder. Just, I was given this task by Nevin himself. It honors me to fulfill that for him. A I mean, task from them. Nevin could just come talk to us himself. <clears throat> I'm just saying, I've been here for like over 24 hours. I have yet to see Nevin. No one oh. sees him nowadays. What? What kind of gifts um, do do people need to be qualified for? I, I thought that gifts were given like a free will, just like as presents. Like I've heard of birthdays recently and I didn't think you had to prove yourself to get like gifts birthday. Gifts are given, blessings are bestowed. I bless people all the time. And it sounds like the same thing to me. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned earlier, what, strange to see ones like you here. What's that mean? Yeah, was that like a you people type thing? Because <laughs> really, I mean, I, I would think you'd be lot. more enlightened than that. What do you mean, ones like you? <laughs> The Rock was not expecting the sheer amount of snark it was going to receive today. <laughs> Hold on, I have questions. <laughs> Literally like this huge ass creature that has created radiant life. And you're like, but are you qualified? <laughs> What's the nature of these gifts? <laughs> That's true. What are these gifts? And what's the test? Right? Why, what if I don't even want them? They stretch their wings out again before tucking them to their sides again. Man. And do you know the nosy person who's hanging out in the crevice? <laughs> they will <laughs> attempt <laughs> to... Uh, actually, no. I know what they're going to do. I'm lying. I know what they're going to do. All right. That's what they're going to do. pause for a moment and look you all over this time instead of that kind of regal like trying to suss you out kind of thing their eyes glow a brilliant uh like a, 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 just a brilliant yellow light <clears throat> they'll simply stare kind of at the at the three of you together before the light goes out again and they will nod once By people like you, I meant those not born of the veil and those who are summoned directly. It is odd to see people who did not come across the veil by chance or simply existed here beforehand. Well, I assume Nevin wanted us here for a reason and allowed us to be here. So there shouldn't be any test or judging because he was like, come on in, help your friend Nawi. And we're like, okay, we will. He sent Gwendolyn to get us specifically. Nevin or she was indeed. sent by somebody. Nevin did indeed want you here for a reason. Nevin also if it's just for this test, for a reason. Nevin could have come to our house and administered this test. Because seriously, while your place is nice and all, it's not home. You've never heard a bird sigh before. <laughs> it's a very strange experience as there's just a slight squawk as the air escapes. 
they look up and say something. Uh, do any of you speak Sylvan? Okay, no. cool. So you understand, Jack Aranda. <laughs> you watch as he looks his head, uh, kind of tilts his head upwards and just says in Sylvan, just, every time I do this, you keep sending stranger and stranger ones to me. Now Mara, not knowing what he said, is going to rattle off in Draconic and say, Nevin, this bird does not have the patience for us. They'll return their gaze to you. <laughs> it's the extend, extend their wings out again. This time in a more, uh, more forward manner. <clears throat> Your test begins. Steal yourselves. Um, I and can't steal me. I'm not a rogue. We belong to ourselves. <laughs> and with that, <laughs> I would like you to roll initiative. <laughs> okay. Probably when I show up. This, this rock is oh, just kid. like, please. <laughs> Oh, just oh my good lord! What what have you gotten me into, Never? Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. Let's switch over to here. We go. Hello. The I map here. Zoom out. Oh, hello. Oh, oh my god. Oh, pretty. Oh. Mm hmm. There we go. Welcome to I the wrong <laughs> glowy <No>. stuff. <laughs> Whoops. I am right hiding. Button. I am oh. not rolling initiative. I am hiding. All right. Let's get an initiative counter going. There we I'll go. Initiative here in uh, just a moment. Do, 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 do. To that is wrong. This roll to... I need to add one to whatever this is that I roll. Um, I'm not on this map yet, am I? You are not on this map yet. Okay. Not yet. I just, I, okay, I cannot roll initiative until I can click on my token. There it goes. Now I get it. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Did mine pop up? Uh, yes. No. You're not in the initiative order. You are not in the initiative order, but that's fine. I can manually slot you uh, in. Neither is mine. <clears throat> I am not either, but I uh, add one to my role because uh, I need to update that sheet. <laughs> you rolled an 11 on an initiative last time, Oren, by the way. <laughs> Did I? Oops, <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Well, my initiative <laughs> bonus is five. So yeah. it's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so even digitally, I roll like crap. <laughs> Love it. Absolutely love it. Just, uh, just big pain right there. I, I, I feel you, but also, ooh. yeah. Oh boy. Um, oh, did I get off of it now? Alrighty. I believe that is everyone. In. Why can I see no one? Yeah, I don't. I just see the baddies. Oh, well, that's not particularly helpful now, is it? <laughs> Somehow I removed myself. <laughs> I, I'm going to blame it on me. Oh, so no. just... That is impressive. All right. Is that just the uh, the turn order that you can't see? Or is that... Yeah, yeah. we can't you see your turn yeah, we, we don't yeah. see us on the turn order. Oh, my God, I just scrolled over to see right. the bad guys. Holy... Yeah. <laughs> we got this. What uh, we'll do, we'll do that. All right. That's fine. Do you see the the the, We're the professional people? They're coming in. Yeah, they're, coming they're in. popping up. Yeah. Wonderful. All right. Beautiful. I think we, we should like all just reroll. Um, <laughs> 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 all right. Pretty well. So, so Oren with an eleven. We have <laughs> a seventeen for Jacaranda and a fourteen for Mara. Yep. And you're not here yet. <laughs> nope. All right. Cool. So, uh, top of the round is going to be Jacaranda. 
with uh, Mara on deck. Um, can I vibe Looks like check? the birds on deck. <laughs> with my bonus action. Mm hmm So what, what kind of vibe am I getting? Like, is this like, am I, do I need to attack? Like, is this fight, fight vibe? Or... Um, is this SAT vibe? <laughs> Do I need a yeah, pencil? you're gonna have to. Yeah, you're, you're gonna need a pencil, you're gonna need a ruler, you're gonna need a retractor, you're gonna need a compass. No, uh, <laughs> um, you're getting the idea that they, they are poised to a degree that they are not going to hold back with whatever they're gonna do. Um, I'm not exactly sure what we're doing here, so if I'm reading this incorrectly, I apologize, and I will, uh, Eldritch Blast, I guess, Eldritch All right. Blast, okay, um, oh my gosh, having dice out would be a good idea. Nah. <laughs> you can just guesstimate what you roll. <laughs> we like a natural 20. Uh, <laughs> wow, man, I am just rolling nat 20s. Oh, wow. So it's a 17 <laughs> That's plus 7, so 24. A 24 hit. will hit, yes. And uh, so that's like my first one. I, ha I actually do two. D8s? Wait, where's my D8s? One. That's not one. Okay, I'll just roll this twice. So six, seven, so 13 on the first one. 13. Cool, cool. Stay on the. Oh, so then an 18 plus seven, 25 to hit. 25 will hit. Five plus six, eleven plus eleven more. Cool. So thirteen and eleven. Damage. Nice. Oh no, I was rolling d eights and not d tens. Whoops. It's fine. <laughs> you can take your twenty-four, or you can re-roll it if you'd like and try for better. I will try for better. Let's do more math. That's fine. okay. Okay, these are these are tens. I hope you get tens. Thirteen <laughs> on the first one. Cool, that's the same. And ten on the second. That's the same. <laughs> All right. Well, it was worth giving you another try. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Anything else, Jack Randa? I will. Um, nope, that's it. I'll stay where I am. Actually, oh. I will move. I will. I am going to move. I'm going to move. I think I can move myself. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to move there. All right. Excellent. Uh, it is, in that case, better. They will go ahead and... They're not going to fly. They're going to literally just rush. Uh, they're going to rush you, actually, Jacaranda. They're going to run over here <laughs> and immediately kind of peck forwards with their beak. Uh, is it big boy's <clears throat> turn? I thought it was little guy's turn. Is it little guy's turn? I can't see. I might have put yep. the wrong... Little... I put them the wrong way round! It should be big boy's turn, but they're in little boy's... Uh, I, I put it in the wrong... Ah. put the initiative in the wrong one. Because <laughs> he doesn't get a buff to his uh, initiative, but the little ones do. So they got 7 plus 3, so 10. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. so it should be the other way around. I apologize. Oh. <laughs> yes, he's going to run forwards. Uh, does... Uh, yeah. Uh, 25. Mm -hmm. I assume that hits. It cool, sure cool. does. I think that might you be a little better. I thought me? they were all about to rush Jacaranda, and I was like, oh my god, no. <laughs> Literally every single one. Oh, <laughs> it's 
going to be maths, 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 maths. Cool. Uh, that's going to be uh, 25 points of piercing damage. Oof. And it'll go ahead and try and rake you with its talons. Yikes. That is going to be a 18. Mm, you said, wait, you said why 25? Aren't you, why don't you like party clerics? Huh? Why you gotta try to kill us? Huh? Um, and yes, an 18 does hit my armor class. Beautiful. 17. Checking my inventory. Oh, sorry. Making sure I have healing potions. Oh my so god. Sorry. <laughs> You're not. You're not sorry. Uh, 13 points of slashing damage, and you are grappled. As it comes forwards, it's going to go ahead and use uh, 20 foot of its movement and then kind of use the rest of it to fly upwards uh, or towards you, rather, as it pecks you, strikes you with its beak, grabs mm -hmm. you with its uh, talons as it slashes across and kind of mm -hmm. crunches you in, and it's going to immediately take flight. Okay. Cool. And it's going to fly directly upwards, 60 foot. Cool, 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 cool. And that'll end its turn, which will bring us to Mara with Oren on deck. Mara is going to Dimension Door onto the rock's back, and then she is going to give it scritches. <laughs> like, owl, owl switches? Like scritches on its head? <laughs> like, like, nice like my scritches? bird, she loves scritches. She's given the rock scritches, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's killing me. Dimension door <laughs> all the way up. There's like, yeah, there's pieces of like flower and bark on the ground, and then it's, you just it's, it's Who's killing a good me. Rock? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, and she'll help. say, help, let the nice unkaima go. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of Marister. All right. Listen, Mara's a Disney princess first. Savor <laughs> of Enkaima <Inkaima> second. <laughs> the rock is entirely ignoring you. <laughs> uh, brings us to uh, Oren. All right. You doing? Um, so not being the lover of birds that Mara is <laughs> um, and definitely seeing him tackle the heck out of uh, my friend Jack here. Uh, Orin is going to rush up just here and right up in his face. Uh, he's going to use his yeah, bonus so. action to cast Saya's Touch on his quarterstaff. Cool. Um, and then... He is 60 foot up. All righty. I'm a monk. I can fucking jump that high. Jump it, yeah. <laughs> right? What's my jump speed? Distance crap, where the hell is that? Is there anything around like a tree or or we're just open in an open clearing? I mean, uh everything that you see on the map is real. Oh. So there are like these rocks and uh the trees are on the chair. So you can definitely use right. those, yeah. Okay, so I was here. Um, shoot. Where the hell do I find? I'm thinking of my Grun character who could jump super high and I don't think <laughs> <or> <laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> have Um. Oh man, there's got Actually, Oren is probably hanging in the air right now. We never untied the rope. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. We're all together. <laughs> Mara oh, is on the oh, back of the boy. rock. <laughs> I'm I'm here for what? it. If... I didn't remember about the <laughs> I rope. I totally forgot okay. about that too. So Oren, you are dangling. <laughs> Was it one rope between the three of you? All it was of us one were, rope between yeah. the three of us. Okay, so when Jack Aranda went up, all of you went up. All right, and then... So, so all of us went up. 
you dimension doored from where you were to its back, so you, Orin, are probably dangling like 15 foot down from its talon at this point. <laughs> You are just dangling oh, right. in the air, I suppose. Oh. Uh, well. And he, and he literally just gets... <laughs> because she instantaneously just shung, uh, teleports up there, uh, and he just gets pulled, not being teleported. <laughs> so <he's> like, <laughs> oh, this is not a place I want to be. Uh, uh, and he'll still... I mean, he's right in front of him, so uh, he's going to... Cast Sia's touch on the quarter staff and just take some wax at his foot, I guess. Um, um, Adam so. Oren has autocrit. Her, her hair bra, hair ball says, "Let them hands fly." But I guess your feet oh. and body are also flying. So enjoy. Awesome, <laughs> indeed. Uh, hair ball, you <laughs> are the man. Um, all right, yeah. So quarter staff, uh, first one. I'm gonna just go ahead and use the the autocrit. Um, and then uh, there's going to be a second attack, too. But uh, let's just do the first one. Let's use the heat-activated die. Mm-mm, Son mm-mm. of a bitch. Um, oh, wait, no, I got to do the damage for that first. Second one's not going to hit at all. So auto crit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Um, the second one just whiffs. So what did you get on the second one? Oh, the second one, it was like a t- natural two, so it was a 12 to hit. Doesn't hit, but closer than you'd think. What? Okay. Um, this thing is huge. <laughs> it's kind of hard not to hit it. <laughs> Seven plus six, 13. So the, the auto crit was 26 points. Of, uh, damage. Of Dang. Bludgeoning. Uh, because of Saya's touch, uh, I also get the additional fire damage. Which, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, four. Four doubled. Oh, is that double two? Oh, so eight. Crits double everything. Awesome. Eight. Yeah. Eight points damage. Yeah, Beautiful. All right. Um, yeah, my second one totally whiffs. You managed to get a good strike, like, against a section of its neck. Uh, as you kind of, as you've flown up, you kind of swing upwards, using the momentum before you drop back down to just bang. You manage to get a good strike in, and sections of the uh, feathers begin to burn. As you swing back down, you try for another hit, and it just, boom, just nothing. Mm. You watch your uh, quarter stuff just kind of shake a little. Mm. Don't find purchase, unfortunately. Right, um, oh, there's one more person. Hmm. Shikari. Uh, yes, Shikari is somewhere. <laughs> Shikari is somewhere, but uh, if you would like them involved in the battle, then sure. Otherwise, uh, I was just kind of considering them. A pet so you know like the okay creatures um, are out of initiative no because this is supposed to be our test i guess so mara is not gonna have him involved that's cool it's the same as a it's the same as like pets or familiars for me uh if you don't specifically say you want them in the fight to do something then you don't have to add them to the initiative order they, they just kind of exist in their own ethereal space <laughs> they're still here they're just not on the battlefield <laughs> Um, all right, so that was my bonus and my main action. Uh, as a free action, can I try to untie the rope around my waist? You certainly can, yeah. Right. Uh, it's not really too difficult, so, but you want to try to like kind of like <clears throat> swing on, on like to his foot and then uh, try to have some, some kind of purchase and untie the rope. Okay, cool. Uh, roll me either athletics or acrobatics, just because I want to see how well you do this. All right, let's see. Um, what's better? Acrobatics, for sure. Let's use a different die. Oh, that'll be nice. Uh, for 26. 
26. Yeah, so you you do this flawlessly, using the momentum plus a little bit of your uh, a little bit of your strength just to swing up. You can kind of loop back over and land onto the talon with one hand kind of wrapped around the very large bird leg. Awesome, easy as pie. Anything else? Um, no, I think that'll be it. And I'll just be like, all right. It's time for some drumsticks. <laughs> Just holding on. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. Which brings us to the bird's turn. Uh, they can all make this. So they all have a hell of a lot of, uh, of movement. So we got one. We got two. We got three. We got four. We got five, six, seven. Yeah, and this is the only one that can't reach anybody. Okay, Ooh, a, more. a bunch of dice. <laughs> uh, right, let's go with the ones going towards Orin first of all. So Orin, you're going to take three attacks. All oh, right, bring it. Three of these different uh, orcs. Uh, that is going to be a 14. Nope. A 15. Negative. And a 21. Yeah, that one will hit. You take four points of radiant damage. Radiant damage. As two of them, as you've kind of swung up, they begin to swarm you. Two of them, you kind of just duck past, but one of them gets you right in that spot in the ankle with its beak. You take your four points of radiant damage. Uh, only one of them is in range of Jacaranda, so it is going to go ahead and try and strike. Uh, 14? Does that hit you, Jacaranda? Yes, it does. I am 14 minus 17. Uh, oh, it doesn't. Oh, you rolled 14. Oh, 17. Yeah, so a 14 yes, misses. It misses. <laughs> cool. I was going to say... Huh? <laughs> I am not that low. <laughs> I was like, why are you I was so like Nolly's not here. That shouldn't have hit you. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> I was like, wait, One of the... that's low. Yep. It does not hit. <laughs> One of them swoops and goes for you, but as you've kind of been wrapped up here, it just ends up hitting the talent of the rock itself and it just bounces off entirely. Uh, and then these four are going to go for you, Mara. A 19. It's because I don't have a, my swords out. <laughs> no, that 100% misses. That also 100% misses. And another 19. So only the two. It's going to be uh, seven points of radiant damage. And that ends their turn. As you are all quickly harassed by these these larger shining birds and grappled and dragged by uh the the the, the rock itself the one just before you finish phasing through the portal right in front of you as you see this this beautiful landscape you just hear a as swinging past your purview Looping its way back up, you see Orin, flaming quarterstaff in hand, swinging his way up. Looking up as you step through the portal, you see this before you, just this, this ridiculous image of your allies, your friends, swinging slash grappled with this huge bird creature, surrounded by these, these, smaller, uh, these smaller radiant shining birds pecking at them as they go. Um, it's quite the sight. <laughs> you will appear there, through that tree. Hey. Go ahead and roll the initiative for me. Okay, let me click on that and roll initiative. Woo! Woo okay. Damn. All right. All right. Cool. Cool beans. Let me uh, just hand let me... over a little bit. Let me swap these around when I get the chance as well. There we go. All right, which brings us to you, Dewan, with Jacaranda on deck. Perfect. 
I think Dawan's speechless, first of all. Um, and then a uh, question, Ray, these other smaller birds, I guess also the rock, do they? <laughs> Sorry. Do they what, sorry? Sorry, I said the rock and I thought of Dwayne. Um <laughs> Yes, that's 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 the rock's name. It's it's Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Uh, <laughs> uh are they do they all count as beasts? You roll me a nature check. I will roll you a nature check. Uh, this one. A twenty-two. Uh, okay. Uh, you've never really encountered a rock before, but you're aware that these these larger creatures probably don't count as just a stereotypical beast. Okay. Probably count as something a little bit more than that. The shining creations, however, you're not entirely sure. It's 50-50 shot. Okay, um, I won't, I won't do the thing then. Uh, what I am going to do is, hey, uh, how are you looking, Jacaranda? I'm not, not good. I'm not looking good. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, cool. I'm going to immediately, I think I'm going to clock all of my party members, and I'm sure Jacaranda does not look good. Um, and I'm... No, there's, like, there's a scattering of, like, uh, jacaranda, jacaranda petals, petals on the ground petals. from when, oh, no. yeah, I'm Ow. bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> She's seeping. Uh... Yeah, it's like little like puddles of sap on the ground <laughs> from where you just been. <laughs> the rock are they? Are they still sixty feet up in the air? Correct. <sighs> Okay, um, I'm going to cast Sacred Flame on the rock, um, uh, and then immediately cast a Healing Word on Jacaranda at the third level. Cool. All right, wonderful. Cool, cool. cool. You cannot do that. On, or is Sacred Flame a bonus action? It is or an action and cantrip. Teams, it's a cantrip. Yeah. Yes. yes cantrip. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I don't have the range, y'all. Uh, and it's a it's a dexterity save, I think. Sacred Flame is a dexterity yeah. save, yep. which I'm pretty sure it fails. Uh, I love. Yeah, it fails. So you get nine points of radiant damage. If it even affects the rock. Nine points of radiant? Okay. You just healed the rock. I know, I know. <laughs> like <laughs> it seems to find purchase as the flame kind of scatters across uh, a very small area of this very large creature, but it doesn't seem to have healed it, seems to have harmed it, so. Okay, cool, you great. Good. Um, and Jacarana, you've got 12 points of healing, which is not great, awesome. but it's not Thank nothing. You. It's good, because I didn't want to have to heal myself. <laughs> uh, and Dawan, as she, as I cast a healing word, I'm just like, what happened? Um, I have tea bird. with my grandmother, and this? Uh, it's, a, it's a test, I it's, think. It's a test, yeah. Shikari looks at you and goes, <laughs> Can you imagine that in real life? Just like walking through a portal, there's a huge gargantuan bird. You're like, what happened? Everyone shouts back, it's a test, don't worry about it. <laughs> Anything else for your turn, Dawn? No, that's I. Uh, I just no. You, okay. Yeah, no. I would slink cool. into the darkness, but that requires a bonus action. So no. 
That's cool. Uh, awesome. Jack around to then with Mara on deck. So I am going to um, first cast um hmm, I can't remember if it's oh that's an action so I'm not gonna do that um I'm going to cast spirit guardians oh, um love that. all right at fourth level oh all right all right and then it's like let me go let me go let me go mm -hmm. it's like as long as you're holding me you're gonna get hurt <laughs> so all these um like hummingbirds and bees and just flying critters go around me and then um they're like glowing and cute and um then i'm also and deadly and deadly cast. make sure you say deadly yes they will, they will hurt. They will be <laughs> out. They will be out. And then that's going to be it. I'm going to say, hey, um, I'd really rather not do this right now to the rock. <laughs> okay. Cool, cool. Uh, so that is your turn. Spirit Guardians, mm -hmm. first and foremost. Wisdom, right? Um, on, yes, yeah, so I think it's on their turn. Yes, so it's the rock's yeah, it's turn. turn right now. Okay. So, Wisdom. It's, no, there's, no there's, there's literally no point in me even looking at the modifier. Full damage. <laughs> okay, eight. So that is so seven, thirteen, eighteen. Uh, radiant damage. Oops, I just accidentally clicked it again. But I rolled eighteen. <laughs> that is cool. Okay, so eighteen points of radiant damage to the rock. Sweet. As You've taken this damage, you've said this, it looks down, and it opens its sound, and it just drops you. And you nice. begin to fall. Uh, He's still attached by a rope. Yeah, you begin Mara. to fall. He doesn't know that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you begin to fall, you fall, you fall. Um, Mara and uh, Oren, I would like you to make a strength check for me uh athletics check for me <laughs> didn't okay. Oren untie himself yeah i'm not uh on the oh rock, yeah you're not I attached can, anymore yeah, yeah, yeah good it. point <laughs> no, you're not you're not yeah yeah you're not attached anymore but technically it would be the you've let go of the rope but it would still be near you so you can go ahead and grab it to pull them and try and save them basically okay. and get them to a <laughs> yeah. to a decent spot um and it's a uh, just a Athletics, Athletics or okay. yeah, strength. Oh, fifteen. Okay, fifteen. Fifteens. All right, cool. 15. Yeah. So, Jacaranda, you begin to fall out of the talons. Mm -hmm. You feel yourself speeding up until you feel something taut. Mm -hmm. And as your two allies kind of grab the rope, pull and swing. You come back upwards and land on the other talon, staring at Oren on the other <laughs> side. So you're both on like one talon each at this point, on, okay. on one, one leg each, staring at each other. Uh, the rock can't see anyone, <laughs> so it's pretty annoyed. Uh, it's going to go ahead and clock you, Dewan, and it is going to plummet 60 foot and attack you. Get it's close. the only person it can see right now. <laughs> Come at me. <laughs> you are, yeah, you are the only target. So it's going to go ahead and uh, let's do beak first, which is going to be a 16. Not hit. All right. 
beak comes forward and you immediately just mm, saw it coming. Claw is going to be a 19. That does hit, yeah. Okay. That one is going to be. I hated the number of dice. I just I heard. Uh, <laughs> a far better roll this time. Uh, it's going to be twenty six points of slashing damage. That's like what my first hit was twenty five. And you are grappled. As it, the beak misses, so it brings its talon up, scratches across you, clutches it in its claws. And it's going to do the same thing because it has 120 foot of flight. So it's going to go back up 60 foot and bring you along. At We're least... all still on. <laughs> At least I'm so here now. It We're together. moves over here. You're on top. You are on like one talon there. You are on the I'm other here. talon there. <laughs> you are up here. Good stuff. <laughs> oh. Uh, zoom us in, really get that. And that, uh, <laughs> and that ends its turn there. Uh, brings us to Mara with Auron on deck. Mara says, did Nevin say the test was to fight you? Because you're not the villain, so we really don't want to hurt you. Well, a persuasion check. Thirty. Because <laughs> Mara is freaking persuasive. <laughs> <laughs> you get no direct talk or response, but you can see the wheels turning in its head. Okay. Goes, Are you daft? He attacked us first. <laughs> Uh, no, Jacaranda attacked first. Um, she's going to use her bonus action to Clearly, yeah. see Jacaranda. Can she see Jacaranda? You're on its back, so if you were to, like, lean right over its shoulder, you'd be able to catch a little bit of, uh, of Jacaranda. Okay, and... Can she see Dewan? Which one of them looks more hurt? <laughs> uh, Dewan, you probably wouldn't be able to see because they're currently in the talons themselves. Okay. Then she will healing word Jacaranda at third level. Mm -hmm. I can click, I promise. <laughs> or eight whole points of healing. Love it for us. Yay. Nice. Um, Amazing. And for her action, she seriously is not going to do anything because she thinks she can talk herself out of everything. So. <laughs> okay, fair enough. End your turn? End my turn. All right. Which brings us to Owen. Owen? Right. Owen. 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 <laughs> Owen and Owen. Yeah. Oh, that's how, Bo that's how my nephew used to call me. Uncle Owen. Aww. Aww. Um, uh, yeah, Owen with uh, the one on deck. Uh, all right. So I'm still on it. its foot, right? You are on one foot. Jacaranda is on the other. Uh, actually, hang on. And one, right? Yeah, I'm trying to work out which. Hang on, let me roll for it. Uh, you directly underneath you, there is a bleeding Dewan <laughs> in the yeah. talons. If only <laughs> I could have touched and healed you if you were in my talons. Um, <laughs> that was the one, dice. That wasn't me. I promise. <laughs> I I'm need sorry. To move it then. The, so Dewan's directly. Okay, blow me. Um, how are you doing there, love? I'm a little grappled. I might be a little punctured. Like you're hurting. <laughs> I'm. I'm fine. I. I. Eh, half. It's okay. It's fine. Do you need a potion? <laughs> Just throw it right in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, yeah, sure. If you want to give me a potion, I'm not um, going to yeah. say no. All right, yeah. I mean, I'm not. I'm going to do it because the image you're hurting, of this <laughs> happening in my brain right now. <laughs> like, Just, I'm not uh... going to say no. Don't give me a potion as I'm grappled in a <laughs> fucking rocks town at below you. Yeah. Um. It's all right. So yeah, I air. am going to uh pull out my potion of healing. And um, <laughs> and I will use my app. It's like an action to do it, right? To give it to somebody else. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Action defeated and someone else. Bonus yeah. to take it yourself. To take it yourself. Yeah. Okay. So two. two That's four, my rolls two. too. At my yeah. table. All right. You get. Give it to me. Five points of healing. I will take it. Thank you. With what potion? Potion of healing. 2D4 2D plus 4. Two. Oh no, 2D4 plus 2. Yes. Yeah, 2D4 plus 2. So, sorry, it's not great, but uh, it's something. Take. No, it's good. Um, it. All right, and then just as a bonus action, I don't know if I can really do anything anymore because I did not buy yourself to fight draw? first. <laughs> Um, close and you get another attack. Uh, let's try to get an attack. Um, immediately after you attack, mm, that's all my stuff. Um, all right, I will. I'll burn a key point to step of the wind to kind of get out of his, like off of the foot and out of the way. My jump is doubled at that point, which is my movement is 40. So I can go, let's see. guy hey you know we're in the air right yeah okay <laughs> like... no it's cool so i no i'm jumping down and i'm gonna jump um i need to select now uh to be a monk yeah i'm just gonna jump all oh, right they get the yeah no damage. i'm fine yeah i'm fine if i'm gonna do fall damage or anything like that so yeah i'm just gonna jump down and and get here so i'm not getting any tax of opportunity or anything and yeah that'll be my turn how high up was that jump you are 60 foot up currently all right um <clears throat> i mean am i gonna take any fall damage from that so you will take a bit no i won't but go ahead and tell me what it is <laughs> <laughs> no no i won't uh so slow fall halves the damage right uh that that works. Works. I'm trying to find it right now. Um, it is. Um, I reduce the falling damage uh, that I take by 45. All right. Uh, no, that's not going to be enough. Cool. <laughs> you're good you're fine <laughs> yeah i figured 60 feet i was probably okay so yeah i'll just six uh, 66 like unless i rolled super well yeah <laughs> so yeah, uh yeah he's just gonna kind of <laughs> like pour the healing potion into one like at one and then like he can't really do anything so he's gonna just like backflip off <laughs> Isn't it 6d6 per 10 feet? Uh, it's 1d6 per 10 foot. Oh, okay. 1d6 per 10 foot up to a maximum of 20d6. Uh, Unless you don't use that rule. Uh, but yeah. Oops. Cool. That's you backflip off. Uh, proper superhero three point landing. You're good. Is that your turn? All right, which brings us to the birds. Uh, so, one. 
two, three. I hate this. I hate this. Four, <laughs> five, <laughs> six. <laughs> I will count them. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Uh, this one. There we go. Cool. Uh, before that happens, that's a lot of wisdom saves. <clears throat> Spirit guardians. Spirit guardians. Guardians. Spirit guardians. That's a D12. How did that get mixed up in that? <laughs> Uh, what's the DC? 17. 17, Jesus. Uh, two make it. Everyone else okay. fails. So, Go ahead and make damage. That at fourth level, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. You cost it a fourth, yep. So that's 48. I did not roll the right amount last time. It's fine. Where's all of my D8s? I don't <laughs> know where they are. When you need them, that's when they vanish. So that's 17 for full damage. 17 for full. Yes. So then that's what a okay. nine. Cool. So your spirit guardians <clears throat> manifest again and uh attack as these creatures begin to move and make their make their turns. Um they don't hit quite as hard as you would want them to, but they still seem pretty wounded by the experience. Mm, right, because they are like radiant energy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, still haunt, but mm -hmm. definitely not uh, as, as as much as you would hope. <clears throat> okay. Before I adjust their health, I'll just go ahead and take their turns. That's going to be three that are going for Dewan here. That is going to be a six, which won't hit. Nah. An eight, which won't hit, and an eighteen. The eighteen hits. Beautiful. Uh, three points of radiant. As one of them pecks you in the shin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two are gonna go for Jack around here. That is gonna be a fifteen, which I think misses because your it AC is seventeen, miss. right? Yes. It misses. Okay, then the 16 also misses you. You mm. are good. Oh, sorry, three attack. Uh, it's fine, he misses anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and Thanks. three are going to go for Mari. That is a natural 20. That is a 21. And a five. So I assume the five misses. <laughs> yes. Gonna be uh, twelve points of radiant total from both attacks from those creatures there, and that's them. They're just pecking at you like the annoying seagulls. The one I like to Jack think the one who crit pulled my hair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, just grabbed like just a clump in its beak and just. <laughs> Uh, and then an Alfred Hitchcock movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the one with uh, Jack Ryan on deck. Um, I'm going to a bonus action shift. Boop. Boop. Yay, 10 points of temporary health. Um, and... There's going to be some poison claws in his talon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Uh, yeah, but I feel like I'm going to try and get out of the grapple first. Is that gonna is that gonna take strength? Yeah, it's strength versus strength. That is an action and a strength check. 
Like I said, some poison claws in his talon. Yeah, so I'm going to primal savagery into the talon that's holding me. Okay. Like, I don't have to break out of it. I just have to make him let go. Yeah. yeah uh, let go, let go, let go, let go. <laughs> does a 23 hit? A 23 hits, yes. Fantastic. Uh, 11 points of poison. Or acidic? Acid? Acid. Acid. I believe Primal Saffridry Sa is acid. It is acid. Uh, how much damage? 11 points of acid damage. 11. In okay. To this claw. Nice. And I do it with a snarl. If you're going to claw me, I'm going to sink my claws into you. <laughs> This is fair and understandable. Cool. Anything else to want? No, that's literally all I can do. <clears throat> I'm currently grappled right. 60 feet up in the air, you know? Uh, which brings us to uh, Jacaranda with Mara on deck. Okay, so I'm going to mass healing word and Orn's on the ground now. Orange Orange is on the ground. Oh, okay. But it's 60 feet. We're only 60 feet up, so he should still be. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then mass healing word for all of us, because I can do up to six creatures. So anyone is everybody's hurt, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Only I thought so. So 13 points of healing for everyone. Nice. And then I will, um, is that bonus action? Yes. So then I will Eldritch Blast still again. Awesome. Right. Sweet. Well, Go yes, ahead. I will. <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Nine. I missed the first one. It's fine. Okay. What's the roll? I roll the six plus seven, so 13. It'll miss, but not as much as you think. And then uh, that's a... No, 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 19. Will hit. Uh, and that's one, two, ten. Nine force damage. Nine points of force damage. Nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I'm going to... Fly to his ankle. <laughs> yeah, another, another funk. Yes. This... Poor, poor guy's ankles. Like these ankles. Yeah. It's a bird. Okay, it's the only thing that's not covered in downy feathers. And I'm going to. Um, and Mara's still on the back of the bird. Yep. I, you know what? I'll just stay here. It's fine. I'll hang out at the foot. Okay. You, awesome. You mass healing worded, right? I did. How much? How, sorry, I, I. Thirteen. Thank you. Awesome. This is the okay. last chance the rock gets to behave. Which brings <laughs> us to its turn. Uh, it is gonna immediately shoot up another sixty foot, oh. bringing it to one hundred and twenty total. And then, I would like Jacaranda and Mara to make strength saves for me. Eighteen. Okay, eighteen. Uh, sorry, what was Jack Rantis? Um, sorry, my digital dice are going very slowly. Ah, that's cool. No worries. Uh, da, da, 12. Da, 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 da. 12. Okay, so you do both indeed fail. As the rock 
soars its way upwards, and as it reaches the very apex, it barrel rolls. <laughs> you can't quite get enough purchase to hold on to the creature, and you plummet down. This is fine. <laughs> Taking one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so one, two, three. Yeah, three attacks of opportunity for Mara from the birds. You plummet out of their melee range. Doesn't matter, because they all missed. <laughs> they <laughs> failed miserably. And five attacks of opportunity. So you go backwards. From... Right, one hit, so Jack around <laughs> with an unnatural 20. Literally all the rest of them missed. That's good. <laughs> Uh, six points of radiant to you, Jacaranda. Uh, as for the actual plummet itself, uh, 10, 12, 16, 22. This is where Mara dies. <laughs> 32. No, 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 no. Uh, 36 points of bludgeoning damage as you plummet 120 foot and land directly into the ground. Nice. And since it has another 60... Uh, Wouldn't it take a little bit of time before they land? Aren't they, like, in a uh, you fall ball five hundred. Right you fall 500 foot around, so no. Never fucking mm. mind. <laughs> uh, 5, 10, 15, Yeah, it's going to go ahead and fly over here. With Dewan still in tow. Good. I'm super glad about that. I enjoy that. For me. Uh, and... so I have to do a concentration check. You do. I rolled a 12. Wait, it's with my, con my it's save, right? With a save? Yeah, so, so it would save. be 15. So you would barely keep concentration by the skin of your teeth. <laughs> but you would. Nice. You splat into the ground with a, a thud and quite a lot of pain. You are grounded, and you watch as this rock flies away with Dewan still in its talons. And that's its turn. So, Mara, you are up. You have all these uh, radiant birds above you, and the rock has now flown away. Uh, how, 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 how many feet in the air is the rock? <laughs> uh, 120 foot. OK, so he's still up there. OK. What about the little guys? The little down. guys are currently uh, 60 foot up. Oh, they're 60 foot up. Mara picks herself up. <laughs> Call Shikari over. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, we need to go fetch Dewan. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what his movement rank is. Uh, it'll probably be around 60. Yeah. As pretty, uh, pretty swift creatures. So we follow Dewan. All right. You go ahead and jump on. Yep. Head on over. Gallop your way across. <clears throat> the rock is now, I was about to say just 120 foot, but... Maybe yeah, not just. It's 120 foot above you. <laughs> uh, and then as my action, do I want to get back on the top of him? Yeah, she's gonna. Uh, she's gonna say, Shikari, if I fall again, <laughs> catch me. And she's gonna dimension door up back on top of the rock. Okay. You are back on top. Welcome back. Welcome back. 
on top of the rock. <laughs> well, if I stay on top of the rock next time, he's not going to be happy. So. Arlo's such an avid rock climber. <laughs> <laughs> She's mad at the rock now. Oh She's like, listen, I didn't want to hurt you. I am a baby bird mama. <laughs> I don't want to cause you pain. Climber. Thanks. I hate it. <laughs> wow, that just hit, huh? Uh, <laughs> okay. Anything else, Mara? Uh, yes. I will healing word myself. Okay. At fifth level, because ow. Awesome. Fifteen that I healed. Nice. Wow! Wow! Amazing! All right, sweet. The and that brings. <laughs> yeah, fifteen is good. <laughs> You're making us proud. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which brings us to Oren. Okay. Yes. Okay. So big boy is 120 feet up in the air. All the other guys are 60 feet in the air. Ah, uh, correct. All right. Um, Oren's kind of kicking himself as when he was jumping down he's like oh, i can't do shite when i'm down on the ground here what am i doing um ugh. so he's going to run how tall is this tree to the bottom left um it's uh it's this one right here this one here yeah okay uh it's one of the smaller trees so it's probably it's still considerable wait wait um, wait a minute is jacaranda still attached i'm not on the rope uh yeah i'm still attached to the rope oh god oh, so that god. means i would be up with but you I'm... back on the bird oh oh that's right yeah, so first you got drug <laughs> across the ground yes. when i got on shikari's back <laughs> Oh that's God. fine <laughs> and now you're hanging i mean i could have just like gotten water skiing on. across the grass yeah <laughs> just like like toby mcguire's spider-man just <laughs> i like made my roots into skis <laughs> yeah yeah still on both feet just going away like hey this is great <laughs> well she was still flat on her back because she hasn't had a chance to stand up yet true uh I know, but it's funny to me to have skis, oh, so man. that's, I mean, that's yeah, what we're rolling with. If you've ever been barefoot water skiing, that's how you <laughs> like, start, is on your back anyway. <laughs> and then I just get pulled up onto my feet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you dimension door oh. over yonder, and uh, you are pulled as well, I suppose. Uh, that's you fine. Are. I would like to be on... You are pulled wow. upwards and dangling quite close to the one at this point. As you kind of, right. as as Mara is up there, you kind of knock into the talon that the one is on. You're within like arms reach of her. Hello, welcome. Okay. Hi. <laughs> so Orin, it is you versus the birds. All right. So it's me versus the flock. Um, that's fine. Um, okay. So this the, the smaller sequel. tree was uh, how how tall? uh they're still pretty considerable so you're looking at like 30 feet. 30 feet okay um so i am going to run 20 feet into the tree and then i am going to run a remaining 20 feet up the tree uh which is not difficult terrain for me monk boy um and then what i want to what i want to do is pull vault off and then as i'm like in the air at, would i be like 30 feet away from these guys cuz i'm i'm up 20 uh i'm up 15 feet can i jump it's cool so i'll let you have it <laughs> <laughs> it's cool so i'll let awesome. you have it awesome um okay so then i'm gonna just unleash a torrent of radiant firebolts um right. against these guys um there's gonna be uh i'm doing one for each of my attacks and then i'll burn a key point to do two more all right excellent um so i want to get well, let's just 
start with uh start with this guy right here uh, so first attack uh, is a uh 23 23 will hit. 23 hits uh this is 1d6 plus 5 for 11 fire damage 11 fire damage all right yeah a solid strike across this thing okay it's uh looking very bad okay but still flying just about all right so then number two is coming at him too, as well uh, which is, uh, I think, better. Uh, 16. <laughs> definitely hit. Oh, sorry, not uh, 26. No. Still definitely hit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so another 10 of fire damage to him. All right. The one closest to you there, you fire two bolts outwards. First one strikes it in the chest, the second one across the wing, and it scatters into just this, this radiant energy. And then as the energy dies down, you see a swarm of fireflies leave and kind of spread outwards to join the rest of their brethren in the trees. They are gone. Oh, they're pretty. You're next, and he's going <laughs> to... Do two more with the key point against uh the next guy uh right here. Uh so that's uh not great. That's eleven. Which one? Sorry, this one here. Um yes. Cool. All right. Um so that's eleven, which is eleven going to hit. Will miss, unfortunately. Right. The next one goes wide as you're in midair. All right. So we're switching up again, and then the second is going to, oh, that's probably going to do it. That's a diet 20. Absolutely, yeah. Did you say diet 20? Yeah, diet 20, dirty 20, whatever you want yeah. to call it. Yeah. Non-natural. Yeah. And that is uh, 10 points of fire damage to him. 20 was that. Hmm? You broke up a little on my end. Diet oh, it 20. was, uh, yeah, it wasn't a natural 20. It was just a, a 24. Diet. How much damage? Uh, for um, 10. 10 of damage. Got you. Yeah. That's the part I missed. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah, another decisive strike straight into this thing. You watch as it kind of staggers a little in the air, pulls itself back up. Um, it doesn't look great. <clears throat> Okay, um, and that's kind of all I have right now. Um, so I guess I'm I'm falling to the ground again. All right, down you go. I I will roll just in case. I don't I mean, think you're gonna take damage, but I'll give it a go. I'll try my best. No. There were three ones in there. That's not... No, 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 no. No, <laughs> no, no. No, 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 no. No. Okay. All um, right. And then just about... So since I was jumping out, I don't know how far away you want me to go. Uh, we'll say... So you came up here, you pole vaulted, bang, 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 bang. Let's say you landed, like, there. Works for me. Kind of getting that diagonal, like the the Max Payne style, like yeah, diving to the side, <laughs> rolling at the end, <laughs> and then and then closer to the taller tree. I like it. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right, that's my turn. I do have some bad news, however. <laughs> so one. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Three, four. Good. Five, I feel like a mouse now. Good. Seven, eight, good. Bring and it on, dead. you buzzards. So. <laughs> All right. Six, seven, eight, D20. Let's see how this goes. Shall we? Um, there's some bad freaking rolls in there. Okay. Bad for you, so. bad for us. 
bad for me okay. <laughs> considering how oh, many okay, people good. Oh, okay, good. Because I was dancing, attacking. so I'm glad. <laughs> All right. So Barry and Marion, they get flanking rules just like you. Uh, so an eight. No. A seven. No. A four. <laughs> no. Another four. <laughs> no. A seven. <laughs> nope. A nine. Negative. A twelve. Big fat no. And a dirty twenty. <laughs> oh, that one actually hit. You're just being harassed at this point. It's not even like attacks anymore. <laughs> and you're just kidding. <laughs> like, just one of them manages to jab things. you like right in the temple. <laughs> like four points of radiant damage. <laughs> yes. Because they're birds, do they count as projectiles? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> If they were yes. birds being fired out by something, <laughs> yes. It's, it's not a bird cannon? Damn. The rock created the birds. They didn't <laughs> shoot the birds. They didn't just... I mean, it was worth a shot. <laughs> the, the, the brief second that you thought about it, <laughs> it was totally worth it. I hate that I had to think about it. Oh, All right. I'm sorry, how, how much damage was that? Four. Four. <laughs> All right, cool. Four points of radiant. And as we end with Dewan in these claws here, Mara on the back of this bird, <laughs> Jacaranda hanging by the talon, and Orin down by a tree being accosted by eight of these Iranian creatures. Um, that's all we have time for today, so we're gonna have to pick up next <laughs> week with this clusterfuck of a situation. <laughs> I think we're passing us with flying colors. What a... <laughs> flying color. Just... Flying. <laughs> so <laughs> let's give everyone a chance to plug what they want to plug unless you made a bad pun in which case no I'm kidding um <laughs> let's start with you jesse where can people find you what are you doing these days nothing big fat nothing hi i'm jehus the moose or jesse you can find me at jehus the moose on the interwebs instagram twitter blah blah, blah. i don't really tweet much Especially since we've entered holidays season, where all time is meaningless as you jump from one event to the other. Um, but I do art things, and you can check out my art things. I do good art. I will be doing some Mind in the Martyr art soon. Yeah. Occasionally, you can find me at Thorny Dryad's Twitch channel playing games too. The video game kind, not the TTRPG kind. All right. Melissa? Hi, I am Melissa, also known as So Much Geek. I do things on Twitch sometimes, playing games, and I also have a store that is linked in my Twitter pinned tweet. And I just want to thank anyone who bought anything in November because it's been the best month of my store ever, which is awesome. Yay. So um, especially thank you to someone who bought a lot of beetle wallpaper. I'm very surprised. So thank you. <laughs> That's fantastic. And I wish I want to see it. So whoever it is, let me see your walls with the wallpaper on it. Thank you. That's that's good. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Good. More of that. <laughs> uh, Adam. Hello, uh, I'm Adam. You can catch me at Adam Hardy VO uh, on Instagram and Twitter. Um, I do post production for Mind and the Martyr. Uh, we are currently working on uh, our other sponsor spots. Um, so those are in. They're uh, on their way, um, and we have uh, our the Friends Roll Dice uh, YouTube page, and uh, the Mind and the Martyr podcast, where you can uh, visit our past episodes, 
and uh, listen to them with uh, added music and sound effects uh, for all the, the spells cast and things like that. Uh, it's a whole lot of fun to make, uh, so check it out. Yeah. Uh, Rochelle. Hi, I'm Rochelle Dragon Gem here on Twitch, uh, the Dragon Gem on Twitter. I stream on my own channel on Sunday and Wednesday nights. I stream puzzle games. Um, some I'm good at, some not so good. <laughs> but we won't talk about that. Uh, all the funds from my Twitch channel get donated to local animal shelters in my area. Um, so any bits, subs, donations, anything like that. Um, so you should come by and visit, watch me struggle through puzzles, <laughs> and have a good time. Amazing stuff. <clears throat> As always, thank you so much to the wonderful cast here. Go ahead and support them in everything they do because they deserve nothing but love and attention and success. Uh, hi, I'm Ray. Uh, I am your humble GM for the Mind of the Martyr here and resident bird, uh, bird man today, apparently. <clears throat> Many birds, lots of birds, very wiggly, lots of puns. Uh, you can find me at Red Mage Ray on Twitter. You can also find me here doing stuff on Mondays. You can find me uh, Thursdays on Polish Cryptids channel where we're doing the Stygian Shroud, which is a uh, end game uh, Curse of Strahd sequel. We are currently at level 19, I think, or level 20. I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember if I leveled them up last session or not. We're very end game at this point, and it's uh, things are getting incredibly interesting as the last few ravels uh, are beginning to 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 show. So, super hype about that. <clears throat> uh, yeah, you can also, uh, for the most part, find me behind the scenes, uh, helping out uh, run Fred's Rural Dice. Uh, we have a few games going on here at the moment. Uh, our Hyperlight Drifter series is coming to an end with uh, the wonderful Nomadic. Uh, so if you haven't checked any of those yet, be sure to check the VODs on the Twitch channel. Um, we also have the Souls Confidant, which is quickly becoming my favorite thing to watch on a Sunday, which is an Invisible Sun game. Uh, we have an Urban Shadows game coming up uh, early next year, which we are super hyped for. Um, we've got the cast ready. We've got everyone announced and prepared. We are very excited to get that going. Uh, there are two future games, which I will be GMing, a one-shot and a four-shot. I can't quite announce them yet, but it's, uh, it'll be on the Friends Who Roll Dice Twitter as soon as I can announce that, so make sure you follow at Friends Roll Dice on Twitter. Go ahead and check out, uh, as Anna mentioned here, the podcast and the YouTube. The YouTube has been added to episode 37, so there is plenty of material there for you to go ahead and catch up on, as well as Adam's fantastic editing. And yeah, follow the cast, follow the channel. We have so much more on the way. And you'll see a whole bunch of cool people that you've probably seen in the TTRPG sphere before. So check it out, throw us a follow. And if you like what we do here, uh, consider supporting us. That's me, pretty much. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, <clears throat> peace out here. Send the love that you've given us elsewhere. Thank you for watching. Hopefully we will see you next week. It has been a pleasure as always. Stay well. Stay warm at this point because, Jesus, we had snow in the UK. That's very rare. That doesn't normally happen. I went out and frolicked. It was wonderful. Um, but yeah, stay warm. Stay hydrated. Stay medicated. Stay well. Keep safe. Keep moving forward. And we will see you next time. Take care now. Bye! Bird, 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 bird is the word. Bird, 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 bird. Okay, but like, I think the end